Walking Trash Can, are you ready to talk about adding horror to anime? Did I just abduct someone's wife? I've already been here for five minutes! If, if I didn't make it clear, Death Note shit. What color is your hair? First of all, you have hair. Are we talking from experience here? Or is it just... Oh, what's, what's, <laughs> that, that, that went a little weird. It all comes back to Giver. It always comes back to Giver. I don't really know what the, the subgenres of horror are. Scary and sexy. <laughs> Okay, when I volunteered for this, I was told I'd be presiding over a really important case, but, you know, now I find myself here with, uh, oh, dear God, who let the walking trash can in here? Anyway, 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 I guess I don't really have much of a choice. That contract has an insanely strict penalty for breaking it. Having to rewatch Hellraiser in space. Gross. Uh, so, <laughs> walking trash can, are you ready to talk about adding horror to anime? I think you'll find that's Sir Walking Trash Can. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Sir Walking Trash Can. It was really weird when I was watching Overlord and suddenly my eyes just kind of started bleeding. It could have just been because it was so stupid, but I personally believe that anime is haunted. However, what anime do you think could be improved by adding ghosts to it? And how would it change the events? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I like, okay, so let's face it. I've never actually watched ghost stories, but I just <laughs> wanted that. That's what jumped into my brain. Is it ghost story? Yeah. You know? um, I think there's like demonic possession and all sorts of weird and wonderful shit in it. But uh, regardless of that, even Gellion, <laughs> even Gellion, right? Because then Shinji's mum could have just gone like, "Don't listen to your father." He's a dickhead. <laughs> but she wasn't dead, so she can't be a ghost. Hold on, hold on. How on earth could the soul of his mum end up in either one if she wasn't dead? They merged. They just completely merged. <laughs> just, just. It's like Dragon Ball Z. They, they do fusion. Yeah, they do fusion dance. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I'm sticking with my answer, Evangelion. So in terms of how it would change events, what you're saying is uh, the angels would win. No, nah, she would have warned everyone. The organization would have been led by her ghost. Oh. And, you know, that they... They would have gotten people that weren't children to pilot the Ava. Exactly. Right? They wouldn't have done something utterly brain damaged. Or, or if they did need to get kids to pilot the Avas, they would have actually mentally prepared them. <laughs> As opposed to just like get in the robot. I've already been here for five minutes. Just get in the fucking robot. Uh, what anime introduced a more terrifying concept than any other a in actual culture? <laughs> um, the anime that like gives me nightmares is uh, Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica because uh, it introduced the concept of love and. You know, it, it's it's just such a frightening thing. It just, you know, makes everyone happy and it's just ugh, it's weird. And it can always be used against you. Are we, are we, are we talking from experience here? Or is it just... Oh, what's, what's, <laughs> that, that, that went a little weird. Mr. Zener, the wife who you brought home is actually a skinwalker. What is the name of the anime show? The wife I brought home? Yep. Did I just abduct someone's wife? <laughs> No, he just went out, had a good time, brought one home. Yeah, found a wife, brought home. Okay, okay, okay. So it's that time I uh, stayed out late at work due to uh, too late. Uh, found a random wife, brought her home. Turns out she was a skinwalker and eviscerated me. And I ended up reincarnated uh, in another world as a monster girl. That's a quite a short title. With big boobies. You or the wife? Both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you found out that the heroes of your world, the, you know, the people standing between you and world domination by an invading force, were themselves actually the evil ones, what would be more terrifying? That fact, or having the plot wind around doing nothing for seven episodes? So, I feel like you're taking the piss out of Go-Go Loser Ranger. I am indeed taking the piss out of Go-Go Loser Ranger. Right. But I watched seven episodes, and nothing <laughs> happened. 
Are you trying to tell me that if I watched one more episode, something would have happened? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me here, Nazar? No, something, some things happen right at the start, and some things happen right at the end, but most yeah, of the middle sure. is just kind of, yeah, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, so, so, good guys turning out to be the bad guys is um, kind of dope. It's, it's like, you know, how, how long can you play the long con? Agito Makashima, I'm looking at you. It all comes back to Giver. It always comes back to Giver. Um, but the it's it's the bad writing, man. It's the, it's the bad writing, man. Like, I mean, the the biggest aneurysm I always have over Death Note, okay, <laughs> uh, is um is is the simple fact that like he was watching a pocket TV that was small enough to fit in a packet of crisps, like. How small was this TV to fit in a packet of crisps? That, like, either that or how massive were the crisps? I know yeah. that in America you have pretty big bags of crisps, but like, are you freaking how small was the TV? Yeah, it's so stupid. If if I didn't make it clear, Death Note shit. No arguments here. So, Xeno Anime Melons, uh, do you think you could sneak in a reference to Eldritch Horror in an anime series? And if you could, which one would you pick? I think there is a, a, a dating sim game. I think it's called Suckers of uh, for Love or something like this. Markiplier played it. And it is, it's basically a dating sim based on like the Eldritch Horrors, like Cthulhu, um, Nyemthotep. Uh, I can't remember who the other one was. But I, I was just like, oh man, this would be hilarious as an anime. Like, I would, like, you know, it's, it's like Doki Doki uh, Literature Club as an anime. <laughs> um, but if I had to sneak uh, Eldritch Horrors, I'm gonna say Yu-Gi-Oh. I want to see <laughs> Cthulhu and the likes as like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh playing cards. You know, you make a pact with a demon that allows you to become the protagonist of your life. What color is your hair? First of all, you have hair. That's the first step. And second of all, yeah, <laughs> white, white, white. So, so like a silvery, platinum, white kind of thing. Not, not like, oh, that's too bright to look at, white. You know, it, do, do you know what I'm trying to say? So you become 70 years old. Oh, no, no. No, some people get, like, gray, like, really early on in their life, right? I'm, I'm he, talking, like, you know, I'll be one of those. No, nah, he wants the ultra instinct here. That's what he wants. Yeah, same thing, right? Yeah, very you silvery. Know. Yeah, like, the, 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 the like you know, uh, put put ultra instinct Goku here and Bell Cronel here. The, the hair is the same. Okay, and what's, what type of hair? I'd be changing the hairstyle constantly because I'd have okay. hair. Yeah, you know, mohawk, <laughs> um, ponytail. Po oh god, no! Like, oh man, dude, you, I would kill to have uh, a Viking beard, right? <laughs> I, I would. Oh my god! Like when I when I saw uh, shit, what was the the character's name in um, Free Ren? The 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 warrior dude, not Stark, the other one. The dwarf. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember his name. It begins with an E. I was so sad when he didn't actually have his um, beard braided. He should have. He should have braided his beard. Behold the wild Xenogillion. For generations, his kind have struggled to survive without the use of elbows. This often led to strange clipping and odd behaviors, but the Xenogillion was quite happy in his little niche. However, nature is cruel and often forces selection pressures. And so behold. After generations spent alone, watched and heckled by a cruel peanut gallery, the Xenogellion has developed a new survival strategy. With the careful application of elbow trackers, he can exist in this strange VR environment with far less clipping, far more maneuverability, and a much greater ability to express himself. Did you notice? You've been watching this whole time. Please. Consider helping the Xenogellion evolve even further by joining his Patreon at patreon.com slash Xenogellion, where you can help him to hire like-minded fellows to repopulate this beautiful landscape. And you'll also get access to an extended version of this show. We'll get to see interactions like this. Name one horror anime we'd like to see made, made the opposite. Anything by Jinji Ito. I know that he had a series come out recently, and I can't, I can't read or watch Jinji Ito stuff because, like... To me, it's just so like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I had the unfortunate pleasure of reading, I think, Grease. And like, Greece oh my is god. Really rough. I just I wanted to throw up, yeah. man. It was disgusting. Stuff like Amagara Fault is fine, but but Grease is Oh, truly nature is beautiful. 
Let's get back to watching it, shall we? So in Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Toru keeps trying to get Kobayashi to literally eat her flesh. Is this actually just zombie propaganda? And how would the main character from Zom 100 handle a world of dragon-based zombies? Oh my god! Okay, okay. Uh, is it zombie-based uh, propaganda? Yes, and, because this is how the rules work. <laughs> um, how would the main protagonist handle zombie dragons? Considering the chaos that was the zombie shark, <laughs> how would a zombie dragon play out? The only, the only thing I can think of, like legitimately, uh, is to get like a, a can of, uh, like, you know, a gas can that's used at like um, a campsite or something, you know, and, and just sort of like throw it at the dragon and hope that it will explode inside the dragon, you know, with the fire and everything. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. Moving on, what kind of subgenre would you apply to one of your favorite enemies? So any like subgenre of horror. So basically any slasher, psychological horror, anything like that. I don't really know what the the subgenres of horror are. Scary. <laughs> and sexy. Scary and sexy. Those are the only yeah. two. Oh, okay, right. Okay. So the, we 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 have determined what we got to work with here. Uh, so it would be a Goblin Slayer, and it would be sexy horror. You know, everyone's got to wear like. Uh, bikini based armor, so you know, mankinis and everything. Yeah, I can see how that would be a horror. Goblins with the bikinis, that's that's not really good. Not just the goblins, but the goblin slayers. Just get that picture of Borat and put goblin slayers helmet on it. Yeah, pretty much. So, it was already brought up earlier, but I have a slightly different question. So, Ghost Stories, the best anime ever, but you get the choice to dub over an anime that is so bad. What anime is that and what would you change the storyline to? So, um, it, it's, it's fairly common knowledge. I don't like Overlord. I think Overlord is dumb and boring. It did make my eyes bleed. Uh, it did. But the, the thing that I, I'm wanting to do is make it so that uh, Overlord is possessed by an isekai skeletor, right? Mm. Who has no idea where he is. He thinks he's still in Eternia and he's just constantly getting everyone confused and uh, yeah. Evening, why are these lizards having sex? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so that's, 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 that's what I would do, 100%. I have a question on that. Would he be calling every blonde kid He-Man? Yes. You know the really blonde, buff woman warrior? That's who he really thinks is He-Man. Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah. All right, Zeno, it is time for the unavoidable Eminence in Shadow question. Oh, uh, how how would Eminence in Shadow play out if instead of a weird, overpowered isekai character, we had Sid and the Shadow Gang going around in a van solving spooky mysteries that usually end with a masked venture capitalist? <sighs> I was going to say good, but I mean... <laughs> Oh, bloody Scooby-Doo, I swear to God. And who would, bloody... who would be Scrappy-Doo? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. How would it play out? Uh, better than Eminence and Shadow currently exists. Uh, who would play Scrappy-Doo? Um, I don't know, I'm just going to say that Sid uh, gets his hands uh, on enough of that weird black jelly crap and then makes uh, an animal companion for some reason. He plays both Shadow and instead of Mundane Man, he is Scrappy-Doo. Yeah, yeah. God, I fucking hate him as a Shadow. That's one that probably Ghosts would have made better, just gonna say. Which family-friendly anime do you feel is actually set within a horror genre? So basically, in TF2, they have an item called the Pyro Goggles, which basically transfer transforms everything you see into a more cutesy and friendly look. What would anime do you feel would be like that? I want to say Crayon Drawn Shin-Chan. And basically, it's like, you know, he's he's so deluded that he believes that everything is okay. But basically, like, you know, there, there's like spousal abuse going on. And you know, that, that's that's why he's like all super fucked up and like he's constantly mooning people. And he's got this weird obsession with, you know, boobs that, you know, a, a two year old should not have or three year old. I don't know, I don't know how old he is. Uh, that he should not have, and you know, it's it's he, his, yeah, it's 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 all super fucked up. But like, you he know. keeps getting into trouble because it's the only attention he knows how to get. Exactly, you know. Oh wow, that's dark. 
Yeah, super dark. See, no. So you are haunted by the ghost of an anime character. Which character would be the most annoying ghost? Mike Sounders. 100% fucking Mike Sounders. I just like, and the problem is I wouldn't be able to stab him because he's already a ghost. But you could stab yourself and then knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> no, be a, take initiative. <laughs> Turn myself into a ghost just to haunt him. Yeah. yeah. He's like the snarf of that series. He is worse than uh, Snarf. Leagues oh. worse than... Oh my god, he is awful. He's so fucking annoying. Thank god that's over. Uh, I thought about halfway through I was going to lose my lunch from just the sheer smell of bacon and JavaScript coming off of you, but somehow we made it. And um, you better believe it'll be worth it. They promised me if I could finish this session, I'd get the greatest prize. An hour on the Sega Saturn. That's right, Mom says it's my turn! The smell of JavaScript. It's potent. You can you can you can smell it from like a mile away. It's a body pillow. <laughs> That's not a body pillow, Jesus Christ. <laughs>